What's going on? Uh, part three of the geothermal, aka cheap air conditioning. These are my current temperatures in my shed that I mounted this in. Hey, much 12 by 12. As you see, about half insulated. Never got around to finish it. Well, I would have finished it, but I ran out of money. Big difference. Anyway, it's about 1.14 in the afternoon. I don't know why that clock's off. But this is going to be the first time I turn it on today. And let's see how long it takes to cool the shed down. Alright guys, here's the 20 minute mark. Let's see if I can... Started out at 106 degrees, I think. Temp sensors over there. Very, very little insulation in the shed. That was mostly from the winter time when the heat was coming out. I got a little bit of insulation around the bottom. But, what we down to? Probably 16 degrees in 20 minutes with just water. I think that's a win. I'll keep you updated. All right, guys, I just turned it off. It's been running about 45 minutes. That is a big difference, especially in the shed. Yeah, there's no insulation. I mean, very little. This is water only. No refrigerant. And it's very comfortable. I'm very impressed, and I like it. You can definitely get some work done, especially if this is like a grid down situation. You can run this fan off the solar panels and get a pump which I got this one right here so come out of Volvo car same car got the radiator out of I guess it's a circulator pump for the coolant uh, probably for the turbo that was on it run this stuff off air condition um, not air conditioning run this stuff off of solar find you a good cold water supply and you'll be golden will this right here cool a whole house Maybe not right now, but with some work, it probably could. Definitely works. Working on the solar right here. Let's see, I got a 24 volt charge controller for my 24 volt panel. 12 volt charge controller for 12 volt panel. I got a DC to DC converter. Old one from work, I don't even know if it works. But you can take 12 in and push 24 out. It's basically a bit between two batteries. That way, if you got 12 volts and 24 trying to volt, charge two batteries up for 24 volts, this will keep it equalized. I gotta find a good place to hook this pump up, see if it works. Not sure how much power it's gonna pull. It's a Volvo. But yeah, I definitely think it works pretty good, considering how hot it was in here 45 minutes ago. Alright guys, till next time. Oh yeah, this right here is proof I got water running through it. And also, did I mention it's 98 degrees in Louisiana right now? Yeah.